Let's take a look at a few of the different ways that we can graph parametric equations. There's three ways that people typically graph parametric equations, and it just kind of depends on the situation which of these three you might want to use. The first way is using a table, and we're, this is the one we're going to look at in this video. Uh, basically, the way it works is you have three columns. You have T's, X's, and Y's. You pick a few different T's, and then you see what the X's and Y's are based off of your parametric equations. Because when you plug T into F and T into G, that's going to tell you what the X, Y locations are going to be at particular times. Now, that's a bit time consuming, there, so there is two other ways. Um, there are two other ways. The, the second way would be to do something called eliminate the parameter. See, we have X's, Y's, and T's, and we're very comfortable graphing with X's and Y's. We've done that for a long time, but this new T that's thrown in there is really, really bothersome. So what we can do is we can eliminate the parameter. We can take out the T somehow and get it back into a more comfortable format with just X's and Y's. And the third way is just using the calculator. It turns out your calculators can graph equations in parametric form. You just have to know how to set your calculator up. And so the last two, number two and number three, we'll do in the upcoming video. But for now, let's look at, look at a table. All right, so let, here's an example. We'll just run through this one real quick. Let's see if we can graph x equals t minus 2 and y equals t squared for the t's that are positive. So basically all we're going to do is we're just going to pick a few t values. It doesn't really matter what they are. Uh, maybe like 0, uh, maybe like 2, um, and 3, and you know 1, or, or whatever. It, it doesn't matter. You can make it 4, you can make it 7, it, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, so basically when you pick a time and you plug it in, you'll get x, y locations. Let's try it. If t was 0, you would get negative 2 comma 0. 0 minus 2 is x. 0 squared is y. You plug in a 2, you'd be at 0 comma 4. Plug in a 3, you'd be at 1 comma 9. Plug in a 1, you would be at negative 1 comma 1. So we have these different x, y locations here. So negative 2 comma 0. Um, negative 1 comma 1 so these are in order 0 1 2 3 time marches forward I honestly probably should have put this one up here I was just kind of picking times at random uh, but at one second you're at negative 1 uh, 1 and then at two seconds you're at 0 comma 1 2 3 4 and then at three seconds you're at 1 comma 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay and you can tell that this is going to make uh, an arc it's not the best picture in the world sorry about that but you you get the idea right um, this starts at t equals 0 and ends at t equals 3 at least in our table and this guy would keep going now the question was was this uh, graphed from left to right or, or I guess we could say from bottom to top or from top to bottom I think it went from low to high like this so we'll put these little orientation arrows on it like so and that tells whoever is reading it that is oriented from left to right or you could say from from low to high Okay, so that's how we graph using a table, but, but we're not done. You can tell that that took a while. So in the upcoming videos, we're going to look at eliminating the parameter and also how to graph these parametric equations using a calculator.